I was inspired to uh, write a letter to uh, the Roman Catholic Church, and uh, it was very important. The letter. Dear Pope Benedict and the Roman Catholic Church, I never thought I'd be writing to you, but the other day something happened, and you'd never believe how the Roman Catholic Church saved the day. My two friends are witches, see, and they were getting tired of my constant moaning about never getting laid, so they decided that some kind of spell was in order, an energetic and symbolic sacrifice needed to be made. So suddenly, I find myself operating under the auspices of a masturbation moratorium. The theory being that I was too self-sufficient to actually need a man. I would vow not to pleasure myself for 40 days and 40 nights, sort of like Jesus in the wilderness, a stance of which I'm sure your holiness would approve. <laughs> oh yeah, except that they said I was free to have premarital sex at any time. Now, to my thinking, after a week or two or three of this, married women, such as my aforementioned friends who have horny, insatiable husbands, prescribing no touching yourself to a single woman with no real prospects is a little bit like an obese guy telling a bunch of anorexics to diet a little more, or famine victims to give up the food aid for, let's say, a month or so, but if you manage to grow any food crops, feast away. <laughs> Masturbation moratorium quickly became an orgasm ban, and while I admit to not being in the most rational frame of mind at that point, to me, my friends were seeming less and less like witches and more and more like bitches. But I'm sure you, with your papal authority, get the point. Mercifully, a lapsed Catholic girlfriend explained Lent to me. Yes, fasting, sacrifice, even a little abstinence to bring you into a prayerful state of mind. But there's a reason Lent is 46 days, Sundays, feast days. Holy Father, I felt like some miraculous revelation had been shown to me, and none too soon as I was getting ready to hurt someone. <laughs> Holy Father, I need to thank you and Vatican II and Roman Catholic doctrine for the opportunity to scratch that clitoral itch at least once a week. And yes, my energy was focused in a way I hadn't experienced before, and interestingly enough, in my Lenten research, I discovered that during Lent in the Middle Ages, Germans classified beaver as fish so they could eat it, and that just seemed like a much too thinly veiled sexual metaphor, but I digress. <laughs> Anyway, Pope, my friend, and earthly manifestation of Savior, I just wanted to let you know that I never had much use for the Catholic Church before, but I'm grateful that you gave me a justification to whack off. Sincerely, Andrea Vaughn.